What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. Before we get too deep into this one, do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up because y'all know the deal. Y'all know the deal. I am not too proud to ask. Okay, let's get into it. All right, so here's the deal, y'all. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Just when people on the airwaves was like, we ain't hearing about Stadia. Just as my people, my Stadium brethren and sister was hiding underground on Reddit. Like they were the people from us. <laughs> afraid to crawl out from the crevices. Stadia just silently drops this bomb on us. That A, three new games are coming. December 17th and 18th of 2019. And one of those games is going to feature one of its exclusive features. Say that fast five times. Okay, so let's get all into it, all right? So I'm going to read this from uh, not one of the best articles out there when we're talking about celebrating Stadia news. Verge has been somewhat hyperbolic uh, about a lot of things that were going on with Stadia at launch. But they, but you know, hey, they're trying their best here, but you know, I can even use the worst written article to show you some good news. So the article reads as such, Google Stadia finally keeps a promise with three new games and its exclusive feature. Ghost Recon Breakpoint arrives tomorrow, which would be 12, 18, 2019 at the time of this recording with Stream Connect. So the article reads as such, Google Stadia Cloud Service has broken a bunch of promises. Golly, these bugs are sicko. They're psycho. But anyway, I digress. I'll continue. But it's making good or what? Starting today, Google is delivering the last batch of games it promised for 2019, including Borderlands 3, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, and tomorrow it will add Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint. The first game to offer Google's Promise Stream Connect feature that lets players see their teammates' screens so they can coordinate. You can see what it might look like near the end of this game trailer, which I will show you shortly, so hold, so hold, hold tight. And here's an early screenshot. So look at that screenshot. While you're looking at that screenshot, let me do something here. Let me make this, because we're going to get this ready. All right, and here goes the trailer. And I'm going to play it in the background. Let's just let you watch it visually as I talk here. Okay, so, and I urge for you to go check this out. I'll leave a link to it below because it's a real cool trailer. Um, so this is great news. So again, three new games are coming. Particularly for me, the biggest news was Borderlands 3. And then Ghost Recon Breakpoint is coming as well. Here's the, I'm going to give you the good and the bad. Here's the bad. The bad is, it's particularly with Borderlands 3. Borderlands 3, to the dismay of many in the community, is not running at that par 60 frames per second that we're so used to with Stadia. It's running at a lock 30 frames per second according to the various reports. Now, here's the good news about that though. I've played it and I've played it on a web browser and I compared what I played on a web browser to my Xbox One X, the most powerful console in the world. And I'm here to tell you that even with my Xbox One X in performance mode, that Borderlands 3 runs at a much smoother frame rate <laughs> than the most powerful console. So that tells you how much that CPU is a bottleneck and how much of a problem that you ain't got to run into that with Stadia. And if you look deep within the Verge, Verge's reporting in, in their hyperbolic uh, article there, it does highlight some truths that a lot of people are having some difficulty developing for the platform. So once that handicap gets out of the way and people get used to developing for the platform, then the sky's the limit. You know what I'm saying? Like the most powerful console is running this thing at sub 30 frames per second where I, at launch during this uh, early access period, at least Borderlands 3 is running at a lock 30 frames per second. It seemed like a little bit more than 30 frames to me, but I could be wrong, you know what I'm saying? 
I look, my eyesight and stuff could be all messed up for playing on that damn laggy Xbox for all this time. <laughs> let me stop, y'all. Let me stop. Okay. But this is great news. This is excellent news. I want to make sure that I loot this. Can I loot this? I want to make uh, this is this is excellent news for all of you that have been waiting for something out of the stadia camp as far as big news came it, it could come at no better time and then they're both going to be discounted uh borderlands 3 is 38 bucks i copped it as soon as it was available and ghost recon breakpoint is going to be 30 so for the price pretty much of one game you're going to get both of these games um and then you're going to get this exclusive feature which is the stream and stream feature which you saw at the end of the video before i, I, I hit rewind on it it allows you to see what's going on in your teammates gameplay which is pretty cool it's not the stream feature where it lets you stream to youtube and all that stuff it's not that but it lets you see what's going on with your teammates you know what i'm saying and often you get them rogue teammates like my homie uh noah 706 gamer man that dude got add when it comes to gaming he just goes and does his own thing so i can see what he's seeing on screen and i can help me better coordinate because he's always like pick me up yes <laughs> he's always out there like my homie king blood pick me up you know what i mean so um, that's a that's a great feature, great exclusive feature. But here's ultimately the good thing, like I said about this. Now I've been testing these cloud services heavily for like the last three or four months, right? Particularly uh, uh, Nvidia's GeForce. Nvidia's GeForce was the closest thing to um, some great fidelity and great performance. But the 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 you play you uh, GUI or graphic user interface when trying to log into a PC version of UPlay is horrendous. It always made gaming a task using that service, right? And here was stated that's supposed to be rid of that. It's supposed to be the boop boop boop, and Ghost Recon Breakpoint will start up. And I love playing Ghost Recon Breakpoint is a great game to play on the phone. I'm gonna tell you, it's like it was made for the phone. Like some games. The, the, the proportions ain't right and it's too small or it's too big it just but ghost we call breakpoint it's like they developed it with the phone in mind it's a great game to play on the phone it's just getting into it is a pain with nvidia and that's the best performance i got up until now now that i got uh google stadia i can play it on play it on my pixel phone man sky's the limit baby there goes the stream street feed. so there you go the bad news is that you know for borderlands you're not getting that 60 frames from the gate, but it's a development thing and they're gonna work on that, right? Um, for Ghost Recon, the stream and stream feature is cool, but it's not the stream feature that a lot of people may think it is with the streaming of YouTube, it's not that. But the great news is that you're getting both of these games that from everything that we've seen so far to their console counterparts, they run at a better performance, you know what I'm saying? And Digital Foundry can analyze, uh, uh, um, uh, they can analyze resolution all they want. I can care less. I'm getting smoother edges, better any uh, any Elysian. Um, I know I butchered that, but you know what I'm saying? I'm getting smoother edges, and I'm getting better frame rates on Stadia than I'm getting on the console. So I'm happy. For the fraction of the price, a buck thirty. Hey, you know how them Xbox commercials be. Four is greater than six. When well, your boy MM2K with his cheap behind says, a hundred thirty is greater to four ninety nine. And with that being said, hey, yo, that's it from the Stadium Doses, baby. Hey, we may have been down, but we are never out. This is Stadium Day. <laughs> let me stop before I get uh, too ahead of myself. With that being said, let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below. Because like I always say, who cares what I think? With that being said. If you did like what I have to say and you want to hear more from your boy opposed to just Stadia News, follow me on the links below, all right? You can check me on the PNTS Network, check me with the Broadband Bullies, and you can check me with the Hard Knock Digital Culture at hndc.live. And with that said, hey, have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day, Stadia Nation! Peace.